Inshallah, first off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayaf Dawadah, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. And double honors of the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and also honor salutations and blessings to the men that's preaching the gospel of Yahweh Shai in all sincerity and in all truth, and to the men, women, and children that's listening, <clears throat> salakiing, and learning, and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability, day in and day out. Um, you know, I just want to get into a quick lesson. You know, Lord willing, it's edifying into the elect. All right, I don't know how this uh, word uh, purifies us from this world. All right, because you know this world, as the scripture says, is the um, the whole world lies in uh, wickedness, you know, this whole world lies in wickedness, man. So um, uh, we have to be separate, OK, from this world being being, you know, ambassadors of Hamashiach. Um, we got to be uh, different, man. We got to we're supposed to let, you know, our, our conduct and our communication, you know, show forth the type of, uh, you know, character and uh, standard that we live by, which is, uh, you know, according to these scriptures. All right. So, you know, that's why the scriptures always talks about. You know, not being wise in your own conceits, not being, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, following after your own your own uh, uh, mind. But, you know, we supposed to put on the mind of Yahweh Shai. All right. Which, you know, Yahweh Shai said, well, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me, you know. So, you know, as this world, as we see this world, man, everything that this world promotes, everything that, you know, uh, uh, the people in this world, you know, they they uh, they flock to, they they uh, adhere to, you know, it's all it's nothing but, you know, filth and, and, and abominations, man. All right. It's nothing but, you know, just a uh, uh, pure evilness and, and wickedness. OK. And, and the only thing that separates us from them is, uh, uh, you know, the blood of Yahweh Shai and being sanctified through this word, man. All right. That's why we have to continue to live our lives according to the, the ways of the scriptures, man, because the scriptures is is life. As, as Yahweh Shai said, um, let me get that real quick. All right. Yahweh Shai said what? That uh, uh, these words are life, man. Um, where is that at real quick? I believe it's. Six, John six and thirty eight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, six and sixty. Let me see. Spare me one second before I get actual to other uh, scriptures. Yeah, here we go. John, Saint John, chapter six, verse sixty-three. It says, "It is the Spirit that quickeneth; the flesh profiteth nothing. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life." All right. So the words that the yeah, Yahweh Shai spake. Which which the word became flesh, so it's the whole encompass of these scriptures. All right, they are they are life, man. All right, so if you if you're living outside of of you know these scriptures, then you're living in the congregation of the dead. You know, you're living in the congregation of the dead. You're living in the congregation of the of, of the of of the polluted the pollution of this world. All right, and Yahweh Shai is coming for those what those uh, virgins, man, which means those ones that were not defiled with uh with the ways of this world. OK, so we have to always, you know, continue to keep our mind in the, in the coordinates and in in our mind in, in the in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is according to these scriptures, because that's the only way that we're going to receive life. That's the only way that we're going to be purified. OK, so going uh, to the uh, first actual um, slide here. Going to the first uh, scripture that I want to get. This is um, St. John chapter 17, you know, Lord willing, I'm not going to make this too long. Uh, 17 verse 17, it says, sanctify them. Uh, actually, let me jump. Let me uh, start at um, 15. It says, I pray, red letter, Yahweh Shai, says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep us, that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. All right. The evil of what? This world. All right. The wickedness from this world. And the Lord wasn't praying for everybody, man. He was praying for his elect. He was praying for the for uh, you know his disciples, the, the ones that are going to believe on him. Okay, he wanted he he he's praying to the heavenly Father that he separates all right those those uh, individuals starting with those men, hundred and forty four thousand. Okay, 
and keep them from the evil that this world, you know, uh, has, man. Because this world, as it tells you in Job chapter 9, verse 24, this earth was given into the hand of the wicked. So what is the wicked going to do? It's just going to, you know, pervert the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. They're going to they're going to just push out evil. They're going to push out wickedness as being, you know, the normality. All right. And if you're not living, if you're not, uh, 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 you know, lining up or conforming your your mind. All right. And renewing your mind to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then you're going to be entrapped with the pollution of, of this world. So that's why Yahweh Shai, uh, even back then, okay, when over 2,000 years ago, that prayer is uh, is still upon the men uh, to this day, man, okay? And that's why you still have the, and that's the who for the who, the remnant, the elect. And that's why you have men that are not living according to the to the fashions of this world, but they're living according to the ways of the scriptures, all right, which is Yahweh Shai through the Holy Spirit, the Rukha Kodash. So it says, verse 16, that they... They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. See? Okay, so, so since we're not of this world, Lord willing, we're part of that hopeful elect. Since we're not of this world, we don't live according to this world. We don't uh, uh, We do not do, you know, the things that this world, or we don't even agree with, you know, what, the, what this world will call normal. All right? We see things in a different manner because we see things through through Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, through the Holy Spirit, which is guided guides us and, and and brings all things to our remembrance. Right, verse seventeen is a point. It says, "Sanctify them through Thy truth. Thy word is truth," and that's the thing, man. Because this world promotes lies. Everything about the ways of, of this world is a lie. Why? Because the devil, all right, Esau, Edom. All right, which rules this uh, world? He is he's a liar, as Yahweh said. He was a liar and a murderer from the beginning. So he put that vibration on the 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 populace of this world, man. But we have been sanctified through the truth. See, we 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 yearn and we desire truth, man. Which this world doesn't. This world is all about being fed lies. Tell me, tell me, tell me, you know, uh, smooth things. All right. Prophesied deceits. That's what this world, that's what this world, uh, uh, promotes. Okay. And then when they hear the truth, which we speak through Yahweh Shai, they, they shun it, man, because they're not sanctified. They're, they're, they're in their, in their they're in their mire. They're in their pollution. They're in their filth, but we've been sanctified because we believe the truth. And you go to, uh, to the, uh, that definition of the word sanctified is getting to the point verse uh the the, the third it says actually let me still the second one it says um to separate from profane things to dedicate to the most high all right and 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 we've been dedicated to the most high man through ya through yahweh shai all right from the foundation of the earth okay it says uh lord Lord willing, I say that as being a part of the hopeful elect, but the elect have been dedicated to the most high, man, the first fruits. And when you go into the law, that's a law, man, that 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 uh, the firstborn, the first fruits are sanctified to the most high, man. All right. And that's who we hope to be. So so from the foundation, if we be those men and those, uh, uh you know, women. All right. Mainly the men. OK. We've been sanctified from the beginning, mean se separated from the beginning, and that's why we believe on this truth, because only this truth can can sanctify you, okay? Only this word can sanctify you, all right? It says dedicated people to the Most High, which is who? The elect, all right? All of Israel, but starting with the elect. It says to purify, all right? And that's what this word does. It cleanses you. It says to, to purify uh, by expiation. Free from guilt of sin to purify eternally by uh, internally by renewing of the soul. OK, let me now let me go jump to by renewing of the soul, because since we read that, we go to Romans. Uh, chapter 12, verse one, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the most high, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy Right. Holy. It goes also into what uh, sanctify meaning to be separate, acceptable because the Lord is not accepting, you know, filth, man. The Lord is not accepting, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, something that is polluted. All right. He ex he's only accepting what is holy and what is and what is uh, uh, pure. And we can't be pure. We can't be holy unless 
we are we uh, have been sanctified through this word, man. Okay, which once again the word made flesh, Yahweh Shai, and that's why it's it. That's why Yahweh Shai is called the propitiation. All right, the propitiation, man, of our uh, uh, the the perfect unblemished lamb. It says unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world. Okay, because this world is polluted. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, for it, it will destroy you, all right, because it is polluted. It would even destroy you with a sore destruction. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We just read, okay, what sanctify means, to be renewed, to be washed, okay, to be washed. And that's why, you know, the symbolic, the symbolism of being baptized, you know, uh, you know through the water, it symbolizes being washed, being uh, renewed. But really, the, what did John say, man? Uh, John the Baptist. He said that what he that comes after me shall baptize you with uh, with with the uh, with fire, man. Okay, he shall baptize you with fire, which is what this word, the 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 spirit, the quickening spirit, because the spirit is a fire, right? The Holy Spirit. So it says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. OK, and we can't we can't strive and we can't uh, even attempt to do the uh, to live that perfect, acceptable will of the Most High unless we are sanctified. All right. Meaning set apart. Right. So let me go. Uh, where is that? First Peter, chapter one, verse two. It says. Elect according to the foreknowledge of the father of Yahweh, the father through sanctification of the spirit all right and this is why day in day out every day man this is a spiritual walk okay this is nothing carnal there's nothing carnal about being in this truth man okay there's nothing carnal about about worshiping yahweh bashim yahweh shai as yahweh shai said the heavenly father is a spirit okay and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth and that's who he's seeking the true worshipers man because you got people that Claim to worship Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, but they don't do it in spirit. They do it in carnality. All right, they do it, you know, uh, uh, with the with the outward appearance. Okay, but the but through the sanctification of the spirit unto obedience and the sprinkling of the blood of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Right. So let me see. I believe I had a couple more. Let's go into my other phone real quick. Yeah, this is uh. Ephesians chapter 5, Ephesians chapter 5, around 26, it says, it says that he may, might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. All right. And that's, and that's you know, uh, that's point blank period, man. Okay. The Yahweh Shai sanctified us with the with the washing of the water by the word, man. So this word is what purifies us. This word is what sets us apart. Okay, and this is why we gotta live our life day in and day out according to the ways of this word, man. All right. This is our standard. This is our moral. These people in this world, they don't have no morality, man. Their their barometer of, of morality is set by the devil, set by Esau. So whatever they say, whatever Esau says is right, that's what they're going to say is right. But Esau is perverted, man. He's profane. OK, is there as it tells you in, in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, is there any more? Is, is there any? Uh, actually, let me just get it. Anybody more profane than Esau? Everybody that that is not within this word. OK, speaking about first and foremost, Israel, of course, if you're not if you're not coming according to this uh, to this word. Oh, let me get that real quick. <laughs> if you're not coming according to this word. Then it's because what? There's no light in you. Uh, Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. All right? There is no light in you. It's either this word or it's darkness, man. It's either this word which purifies you or it's filth or it's abomination or it's, or it's, it's, it's pollution. All right, it's that's it. There, there is no in between. Like how Yahweh Shah said, "He that is not with me is against me." 
So if you got to you got to speak according to the law and to the testimony, which is the whole the, the whole scriptures, man. That's why the Lord told Ezekiel. He told uh, John. All right. The revelator to eat the whole roll, man. All right. Point blank period. You got to eat the whole roll. You got to live it. All right. So um, where was I about to go get? Um, oh, yeah. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, because like I said, if you are if you are a living you know, if you're not living according to this word, then you're living according to what Esau tells you what it is, man. All right. But we know that Esau is what? Profane. Like right here. Uh, Hebrews chapter 11, chapter 12, verse uh, 16. It says, least there be any fornicator, fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. So you go into the word profane, which means outside the temple, man. And what does the scripture say? That we are we are building up a spiritual temple, a spiritual house. So you if you're profane, that means you cannot be a part of the temple. And what and what sanctifies you in order to be a part of that spiritual house? This word. Right? This word, man. So Esau living according to the, the ways of this world is in essence living according to the ways of Esau. And Esau is a profane man, which means he's uh he's outside the temple, he's unclean. All right. And his ways are unclean. That's why the scriptures talks about the, the great whore being judged that what that uh, uh, spread is her, her fornication, man. And sort of the nations with her with her uh, with her whoredom. OK, the people. All right. This is uh, where is that? that? Uh, First Peter, chapter two, verse. Let me get you straight to the point. Um. First Peter chapter two, <clears throat> verse Salakia nine. It says, "But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood." Okay, the priests are supposed to be pure. Okay, when you go into the law, when you go into the uh, the you know the Old Testament, they're supposed to be pure. They're supposed to be always uh, pure, man. And that's who the Lord is raising up. The Scripture tells you that He's going to uh, raise up a nation of kings and priests. But how are we going to be made pure? Is it going to be because of our own righteousness? No, it's going to be because of this word, man. Being purified through this truth. Okay? Being purified through the belief of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Having the Holy Spirit sub with us, which is sanctifying us. It says, A holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness. Darkness, filthiness. Ah, uh, like See what this comes up for darkness. Yep, it says uh, of ignorance, of respecting divine things, uh, human uh, di uh, duties, the accompanying ungodliness and immorality, together with the consequential misery in hell, a person in whom darkness becomes visible and holds away. All right, so immorality, man. Immor uh, it, it says, yeah, Immor yeah, immorality. People that are immoral, okay? But, you know, I'll close it out right there, man. So basically, you know, hey, we got to live according to these scriptures, man, because these scriptures is what, is what separates us and purifies us, man. And and and, and ultimately is going to uh, deliver us his belief on these scriptures, which is belief, you know, on on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So, you know, with that, uh, Lord willing, it was edifying to the elect and Shalom.